everyone welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf and as you can see some things have definitely changed in the game um, I will be recapping everything that has happened right now um, as you can see I've changed the stones that are below my house so like the pink right here they're now pink I thought it'd be suiting and the mailbox has changed at first actually it was a white mailbox and then I changed it again, and I think this one's called the Fairy Tale Mailbox, so I think that one's pretty. And I've been doing some flower breeding, and it looks like it is working. I didn't actually expect it to work this much, but it did, so I'm not complaining. This is a good thing. Um, so right now you can see that I'm working on getting pink roses. So in result of this breeding, um, we have been able to get three pink roses, which I have picked up right now. So you're probably wondering, like, where'd they go? I was like, I picked them up. Um, and I'm, basically, you have to water them and they will pop up. And I think it is a better chance of popping up because I have the beautiful town ordinance. I think that's a thing. I think that's how it's pronounced, at least. But with the beautiful town ordinance, flowers do not die, which I am super grateful for because flowers dying is not... A nice thing especially that if you skip a day of watering them it causes them to kind of wilt and that can be a struggle if you have a lot of flowers like how in my town and you guys have not seen this last time so I'm gonna be doing a recap of a whole ton of stuff and so yeah basically we're just we water the at least the roses daily just in case the beautiful town ordinance does not make hybrids happen um, by itself so yeah, so now we're just working on getting a ton of pink roses, which I think is super cool because they look pretty. Um, we do have one pink Cosmo here, and we have a dandelion. I think that's a dandelion. Dandelions turn into, like, these... I forgot what they are. People wish on them when they blow them, and then, like, all the little seeds fly. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. But we're just going to plant our pink roses here in another diagonal pattern here. Um, in hopes that maybe more will grow. I'm not sure if they can grow from each other or not, but we're just going to give it a try. As you can see, there's something new here. We have um, some flooring. It's a design that I've gotten through a QR code, which I think is really cool. So it puts down these flowers and bricks and whatnot, and I just choose where, they're, where they go, I guess. And the only thing is, is that they don't blend quite well in, but that's okay. We also have a bridge built in... And as you can see, it is a little sad because it is not quite even. You probably cannot tell, but let's look over on the bottom screen here. You can see that there is a bridge over by Egbert's house. I'm tapping it so you can see. And it is not quite, I guess, symmetrical with the other bridge across from it on the other side. So it's okay. I've learned to accept it the way it is and... It's fine. But I thought a nice wooden bridge would be pretty and give more of a fantasy look. So I got a wooden bridge and that cost me probably like around 180,000 bells. So that was a lot and me wanting to replace it was not going to happen for a while. So we were just going to have to suck it up. And over here we have some orange cosmos and I think these are violets I think. I don't know. And we have, of course, our peach and mango trees. I'm not sure if I've showed these off or not. Um, and we do have mail, which we will check out the mail. Let's see what we got. We got two letters. Oh, by the way, Dora moved. It's not because me and my friend Kaji tormented her or anything. But she moved. But it's okay. So, see, we got mail from the post office, which is actually really weird. I don't know why we got mail from the post office. And then we got one from Red's Galleries, because Red dropped by, he lives in a tent, and he sells some sketchy stuff. And we bought a painting because I wanted to donate it. Thought it'd be a good idea. So, let's go ahead and read what Red said. Dear Cousin Bree, oh, Red would like to thank you again for this purchase, this fine, scary painting. Because, yeah, it was a pretty scary painting. You got yourself an amazing work of art, cousin. Let's just hope it's not a fake phony, because you can definitely buy accidentally buy phonies and not know about it until donating it so you can possibly waste a lot of money so that is not cool but hopefully that's not the case let's get that present and let's get our painting out there we go we got our scary painting um let's also read the letter from the post office 
Thank you for using your postal savings account. This letter is to inform you that you've earned a total interest of 150 bells. That's, I think that's pretty good. So apparently if you put bells in your savings, you get interest. So it's a lot like real life. It's really cool. Except real life probably give you one penny. Which is kind of like 150 bells. So that's pretty realistic. But then again, I don't have a lot on myself. 48,000. I don't know if you guys think that's a lot or not. But seeing how much town works cost, it's about eh. So, yeah. And then we have these in the progress of making some more orange cosmos. Um, over here, we have a ton of orange trees lined up for whenever Austin comes to visit. Um, that's so he's able to sell for good, and that's just to help him out bell-wise. And this is where Dora used to live. Oh, we can actually shoot that down, because we got a slingshot from upgrading the shop in the town, I guess. So, let's see what we get. I usually sell these, because I don't like how they look. So, I just usually sell it, and it sells for pretty good, I think. So, let's see. Balloon TV. So, yeah, we'll probably sell that. We also got a lunch tray and a scary painting. Right. Okay, so I'm going to put the other red rose here before I forget about it. Plants. There we go. And over down here, we have... Oh, there's a little hole there. Oh, right. Okay, let's go down here. Down to the beach. And down at the beach... We've got some banana trees, but they haven't grown in quite yet because I've already just plucked them a couple days ago. And over on the other side, we have some palm trees that look pretty much the same, but those are coconut trees. I hope I didn't get those two mixed up. But I was able to get those from the island, from doing island tours and whatnot, so that's what good old captain's here for. Um, there might be an episode in the future where I show off the island more and all that there is to it. You guys have seen a little bit of it already. So, heading on up here, we have two peach trees on the side. You can't really see that they're peach trees because I plucked those two. Um, another path here, and our tree. I don't know if it's grown yet. Oh, it's grown up a little bit because it's been stuck at two little puffs for the longest time. So, I guess that has grown up. Oh, there's Cherry. Cherry wants to chat. Sweetheart, perfect timing. What, what? Whoa, just got a sudden urge for a cherry. You're out of luck because there, I think there's two more fruit that I have not been able to get my hands on, and that includes an apple and a cherry. So I'm sorry, but I will, I will try to get the cherry. We'll see what happens. Alright, there you go, cherry. Let's go. And I've been hitting rocks for a couple days in a row, so then that way, oh, that's a fossil, let's get that. So in that way, we can get the money rocks. If you guys know what money rocks are, and if you don't know what money rock rocks are, um, you can hit those with a shovel, and they will give you money up to a lot of thousands. So it's pretty good. And we also have a lot of tulips over here, and a lot of random flowers. So that's another cool thing. I do want to start another town project soon, but... I don't know when I'll be doing that. So it looks like there's another orange rose that grew here. Grew, grew here. What is behind here? Oh, it's a hole. It was like, there's something weird there. Um, so yeah, let's go check out the good old retail. Because I'm having something that Cyrus, I think it's Cyrus. Cyrus woke up. Whoa, I cannot English today. Cyrus woke up, by the way. So now we can talk to Cyrus, and he does things for us. There we go. We got our modern home TV. I also want to see if he'll take anything else from my inventory and see if he'll redo it. So, I have a project for you. Oh, a project you say? I'll be the judge of that. Let me see if you got anything that stands out to me. Oh, he says I have something. Oh, I've already refurbished these, so I don't need to do them again. So maybe next time, Cyrus. Maybe next time. So let's head on out. We're just going to walk across here, and I will give you guys an updated tour of our town walk, I guess. I'm going to call it the town walk. Uh, we do have this happy happy home showcase area here, but we cannot enter that area because nobody's showing up there. Nobody's homes. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with it, but nobody's homes is showing up. Um, also over here, we have Club LOL. I'm going to call it Club LOL. I want to say it's Club 101, but I think it's Club Law. And actually, if we bring him a fruit, 
Let's just go back and go get a fruit. If we bring him a fruit, he will teach us an expression. I have not learned any yet, so it'll be something new. Um, so I'm gonna go do that, because that would be nice to do. Let's go see if we can find a fruit. Is there one over here? Here's one. I also hear something very funny. What is that sound? Is it in the water? I want to see. I think it's in the water. Is it you? It is! It's a frog! Oh my gosh. I've been wanting to catch a frog too. I got a little froggy! Oh my gosh, this is the best day ever. Okay, let's go give this fruit to good old what is his name I forgot his name I'm sure we'll find out soon let's see oh there's Egbert hey Egbert we're going into the club they had a performance last night too there's not much you can do with performances besides dance but it's pretty cool I guess if you have some people coming over there he is shrunk his name is shrunk Oh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed? I brought you a snack. Oh, really? That makes me so happy. What did you bring me? Well, I got you an orange. Oh, what do we have here? It's an orange, dude. Nothing special. An orange? Don't mind if I do. Go for it. Do you like it? He said that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Oh, that's right. I promised to show you one of my old jokes, didn't I? I guess if there's anything I can do to make you happy, that'd be it. Alright, I have to get ready first. So just you wait here. Just a sec. Okay, let's just wait. Oh my gosh. He just went all out for me, and it's just me here. Wow. My love joke is just a thing to cure that ails you. Did you know that love makes everything nicer? So let me tell you about my wife. She used to be the sweetest girl in the whole wide world. What happened to her? <laughs> Why did he say used? I don't know. She used to say, Shrunk, you're my funny honey. But these days, the, the missus says things like, Don't leave me all the housework. Well, it makes a little sense. Why do you come home so late? When is that club of yours gonna pay the bills? She sounds like a very interesting woman. Yep, the missus really knows how to make me feel like a big joke. But little does she know, I love feeling like a big joke. Oh my gosh. I wonder if we're gonna be able to do that little heart thing. What'd you think of it, my com comedic? Oh, whoa, Dora, you're talking too fast. See, I'll give you something else, too. You'll really love this. Oh, he gave me a book! I don't know what's in the book. This is a world-famous joke book. You should always keep it close and use it to record the jokes I tell. Okay, can do. Oh, did we get a new tab somewhere? Is this it? <gasps> we got a new tab, and we can do the heart now. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look. I love it. I think it's very adorable. So now we have that. And you know what? I feel like showing off my museum collection because everything I get that I know is not donated is donated ASAP. Therefore, we're going to actually have to unfortunately let go of the frog. But it's okay. We can always come and visit the frog. We just know he's in a safe place. Never going to be accidentally sold because I can see myself doing that. So we're just going to donate the frog and we're also I think we have a fossil to assess too so we will do that hello blathers <laughs> also we have a project he asked for he wants a second floor on the museum I guess so that's another thing to do uh, hmm who how may I be of service um, I would like to assess a fossil so that way we could donate all at once you know um, I want you to assess this fossil here. Do you like that fossil? Let me just see here. Hmm, well, oh, hoo hoo. After some consideration, I declare it to be an archaeopter. fossil, without a doubt. You know, 
Here, let me just give this back to you. Okay, so he didn't want that one because he already has it. A lot of this stuff he already has. So we'll be donating the frog and the scary painting I forgot all about until now. Hoo hoot. Oh, several things I see. All right. He said, who? Oh no, that's not a good thing. Wait, I think we just donated something that was fake. Dang, I was just talking about that. I'm afraid fake art has worked its way into the mixture of donations you just gave me. I'm so terribly sorry, but you do understand we can't display fakes. I totally get it, and I wasn't expecting it to be a fake, but unfortunately, we just donated, well, donated a fake. So... We'll gladly accept the remaining items for our collection, though. There's no need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. So, did he take the fake, or do I still have the fake, is the question. Let's see. We... We have the fake, unfortunately. Um, so we might just give that as a gift to a villager or something, and hopefully they don't think much of it. So let's go check out the fossil exhibit and see what we did here. Um, I've done lots of things. So let's see. Uh, so this one's not completed, it's got the middle, um, so over here we have, I like to call those, I think that's a roly-poly, so I think the roly-poly is really cute, look he's just rolling around, I don't, I don't know why they didn't give him a rock, I got him from a rock, and over here we have a hermit crab, okay, he's just a little shy, look we could turn the screen, I forgot all about that, but he's, he's a little cutie, I have one like him at home, because I thought he was cute. He's the only one displayed. We also have a dragonfly. Um, I got him from a tropical island. That's a cool thing. And then over here, we've got a lot of butterflies. We got this big old one right here. So I think it's the biggest. And we got like three other butterflies. They're pretty cool too. And over here, I think that's a bee. Not going to question the bee. Let's go into the next room. Alright, so we're going to go check out the TNT Mart, which as you can see is upgraded just a bit. It actually has around four upgrades, so that's pretty crazy. And I actually looked at the pictures, at pictures of all of them, and it gets really big. So we're going to go inside and we're going to see what's in there. And it also sounds like there's some construction going on. It's making me really excited because I think that that might be the hairdresser. So I'm almost about to get my signature hair, which I'm hoping they have a shade of peach. But there's no guarantee, so there might be just like bubblegum pink or something. Which, I mean, I guess that'll work too. Oh, I do not mean leave. No, I don't want to leave. This was a mistake. Let's go back inside. Hey, Egbert. I think Egbert's following me, you guys. He's just scaring me just a little bit. Alright. So there's a clock, a lamp, which I actually put up for sale, and some like techno thing. I also like to check out the wallpapers and the carpets just to see if it's anything nice. Oh, I don't like that one. Not one bit. Let's see. Let's see the other one here. Classic carpet. Hold on, I might like this one. I don't know. Uh -huh. I think they have a pink version somewhere. That might be lovely carpet or something. But in a future episode, I will be playing with Austin again. I hope you guys liked the last episode where we played with him a bit. That was fun. I'm going to buy some wrapping paper and we're going to buy him a gift. And he's going to be like, what? Not really, but that's what we're going to do. All right, so the garden store is open. So let's go get some flowers as well. But look at that construction, you guys. I have a feeling that that is going to be the hair market. And I am psyched. That's going to be so cool. I'm going to be like doing my hair every day. Crazy colors. I think it would be really cool if they added an update where you can mix up colors. Because I know people like to split it down in the middle and do two different colors. I don't know. It just seemed kind of cool. I'm going to get these yellow roses. And we're going to get the purple violets. Yes, please. All right. Bye, Leaf. We also had a national weeding day. And that did not work very well because my town is already very clean and there was no weeds to be found. Um, in result of that, I was actually able to get a badge, which I will show you here. Right here. 
Um, I still have my old icon there. It's okay. Let's see. There's our badge page. We got two badges, which is really cool. And that includes the Backyard Gardener, a badge for players with a strong interest in gardening, which I have a feeling that might be due to how much I water or how much I plant. I have no idea. Then we have the Fish Maniac, which is a badge for players that with a fish encyclopedia of 50%, so that means we are fishing a lot. So that's pretty good. So let's go check out the clothes store. I think they're still open, which is good. I was like, they're going to close it down. I'm not going to be able to buy anything, but it looks like they're still open, so that's good. Let's see. What do you got? Hi, Mabel. Let's see. We got a bear shirt. I have another one like it, so I should buy it and wrap that one up for Austin. Because he's like a... Oh, shoot. No. My inventory's full. Oh, okay. There. Cheats. Austin taught me that one. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Don't talk to me about that. I just want the bear shirt. Yes. 420 bells. I will take it. Alright. Let's go see what's going on next door. I also saw a crown. Like, the male crown and the female crown in the store, and... It was expensive. It was 1 million bells, so that was crazy. Um, let's see, we've got some cucumbers, and I, I had band-aids on my face because I thought it was cute cosmetic-wise. Don't judge. Um, I do have this sleeping cap at home, I believe. Oh, there's a fer Ferris mask. I think there's something... The King Tut mask. 12,000? Something tells me I should buy it. Is that a bad buy or a good buy? <laughs> good buy. Um, I'm just going to say never mind for now, and I'll probably buy it later. Maybe. I don't know. Which is a shoe shop. So we can buy shoes, which I've already bought in a pair. You can see my shoes have changed to pink. So yeah. Let's see what he's selling today. <gasps> I wish those were white go-go boots. That would have been adorable. But they're white stockings. I'll take it though anyways, but I think my inventory is full, so I might have to eat my oranges, which isn't a problem at all. Can I eat those? Oh, I have to eat them individually. Oh, no. Let's wrap something. Let's wrap the bear shirt. I think that... Yeah, that, that, got, that gave me some room. Let's get those white stockings, guys. Take my money. Cha-ching. Thanks, chum. Yeah, there we go. Of course, kicks. Right, so I think we've got a full tour done. And actually, now that I think of it, we do have a fountain to show off. This is another new thing here. Okay, I forgot how much that one costs, but that's pretty cool. And <laughs> so now... Now we have everything wrapped up, and I would like to give a little shout out to Kaji because Kaji is my friend, and she actually did my art. Well, she did art for Animal Crossing, I guess, for my series, and it's just really cute. And I wanted to give a little shout out to her. Um, her credits in the description. If you guys want to commission her for art, she's a wonderful artist. Like. It's crazy how talented she is, and the art that she made me is actually down over there, down there, in the corner, and also I'm going to be linking at the very end in the section that says fan art. Um, it's not necessarily considered fan art since it was more of a, she gave me a gift and she's my friend, um, but I will be putting her art there because me and her, we doodled some things together and I thought it was cute and I just want to highlight it, so if you guys want to see that, just Go to the end, watch the end, all that good stuff. And of course, if you have any fan art, just link me on Instagram or Twitter and I will feature at the end. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please leave a like, comment down below, all that good stuff. Bye guys.